you guys so i'm going to put together my overnight oats um i'm going to film it for you because i'm making this one which is the posh overnight oats the apple and custard from pinch of nom i absolutely adore this one so um i make it all the time now so i'm going to show you how to make it um so first of all you're going to need um some porridge oats now this will be a healthy extra b choice but you're only going to need 32 grams of porridge oats um rather than 40 um and the reason will become clear in a moment so 32 grams of porridge oats 100 grams of fat-free yogurt which is just one of these little tubs here going to need one apple now this is um you're going to need to grate the apple so technically this is a tweak however um as far as i'm concerned if i was going to eat an apple ordinarily i'd eat one and this only takes one apple so i'm not eating like any extra apples um so as far as i'm concerned i count it the apple as a free food so yeah um if you choose to sin it that's entirely up to you but i don't um same with the sweetener you're only going to need a teaspoon of sweetener so again i'm not going to bother uh, sinning that uh, you need a pinch of cinnamon now i use quite a bit of cinnamon because i do like the flavor but it's a pinch of cinnamon and quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract so that's what make, that's what makes up your base the oats part of it and then for the custard layer on the top you're going to need a banana and custard muller light you're going to need uh, 50 grams of quark a quarter of a teaspoon of the vanilla extract uh, another teaspoon of sweetener and you're going to need half a teaspoon of chia seeds kia chia i'm not sure how you pronounce it chia seeds i think it is um now this makes up the rest of your bee choice because it's only half a teaspoon if you combine that with your 32 grams of porridge oats you can count that as your bee choice according to pinch of nom and this is how i've always done it and it seems to work for me i just count those as my bee choice so there we go i'm going to put this all together now and show you how it's done okay so the first thing i'm going to do is grate my apple and i don't actually grate mine i put mine in my little kenwood little mini chopper and just blast it So once I've blasted my apple, so it's in tiny pieces, I'm just going to add this into my 32 grams of oats. So want to add in your 100 grams of your factory yogurt also going to need your quarter teaspoon, that's my quarter teaspoon. so a quarter teaspoon of vanilla and your sweetener so this is a teaspoon of sweetener. And a pinch of nutmeg. And as I say, I love nutmeg, so I always put quite a reasonable amount in. And then just give that a mix through so everything is combined. Ok, 
Okay, so then you're going to want to add this into your kilner jar. So you want a small kilner jar that is capable of holding up to 350 mils. This one actually carries 420, so it's absolutely perfect. And you know what? I can't remember where I got this from because I've had it ages. And I can't find one that's plastic for that size with a clip anywhere. So <laughs> I'll be devastated if this one uh, gets broken. So all you need to do is just spoon this into the bottom of the jar. And just pad, pack it down so it's smooth layer at the bottom because obviously you need room on the top for your custard and just move that to one side sorry I'm a bit messy here okay so then I'm just gonna grab a clean spoon and a clean bowl so now we're going to make our custard layer. So for your custard layer, you're going to want your banana and custard yoghurt. I now need to measure out 50 grams of quark. actually 51 grams but as quark is free it's not going to be the end of the world right um you're also going to need your, another quarter teaspoon of vanilla in here okay. gonna need another teaspoon Of sweetener and then you're going to need your chia seeds so this is just half a teaspoon of chia a half a teaspoon and what this does is this soaks up the custard a bit so it thickens it overnight so just sprinkle those in mix all that through until it's smooth so you've not got any lumps in there or very few bring our jar back and you're just going to pour the custard on top of your oat mix smooth that down and then This isn't part of the recipe but that, as i say i adore cinnamon so i just put a light dusting over the top of your cinnamon and then you just seal that up and leave it overnight 
to firm up and there is your overnight oats which is apple and custard